One of the things I've been looking for recently is a breadboarding system that I can hook up some electronic circuits on. And I think I've found something that might well work. In fact, it's a complete kit with a number of electronic components with it. And uh, so let's have a look. It's just arrived and so we can open it up and see what's inside. Right, so here we are. Here's the parcel. Let's start opening it up and, and seeing what's inside and uh, see what the it all has to give us like all of these things they're not always that easy to get into so let's uh, try and see how we can uh, easily get into it snip around here and particularly when you want to do it quickly of course it uh, it doesn't easily come apart so this is what we've got yes it's called as you can see an electronics fun kit so let's take the uh, plastic wrapping up it's nicely sort of shrink wrapped so I'll just get that uh, done and we can Take the shrink wrap off. As always, it never comes off as easily as you want, particularly when you want to do it quickly. So that's uh, another snip in there, right? And that's that's off. So here we've got the uh, package, and we've got a good list of all the components in here, and wires coming out. And look, we've got a, a really nice uh, selection. We've got LEDs, we've got wires, resistors there, all separate, nicely separately packed. Uh, we've got uh, uh, other components here, uh, diodes, um, some semiconductors, all packed separately there, you can see, uh, and various other bits, uh, some ceramic capacitors, electrolytics, and interconnecting wires there so all very very useful and we've then got some other interconnecting wires there and we come to oh, a power supply section there so we can run in uh, regulate or a, a variable supply and have a, a regulated 5 volt or 3.3 volts out and here we've got the breadboard itself and so we'll take the breadboard section out out of its box and yeah quite nicely made and we'll have a look at that a little bit later um, and see what we can do with that so yeah all very nice so what we have here is the breadboard itself and you can see that along there we've got a positive supply so that's linked all the way along the top there to all these little uh, uh, holes that you can slot the components in and one there for negative and obviously you could use those for anything but the power supply that comes with it uh, links into to these so you have a supply along there and there's also a, a facility for a second supply along there. Now the uh, power supply is uh, that comes with the uh, system is is really quite uh, quite neat and we'll have a look at that separately in a second so here we have the power supply section and what you've got is a connector that you can bring in the uh, the, the variable or unregulated uh, supply often you can have one of those little mains units that plug straight in there and I gather that there is a one that uh, you can buy for this and there's a switch there to turn the supply on and off and you can also see the jumpers here uh, at the moment it's set to 5 volts but by changing the jumpers that's a little bit stiff as you would hope it would be and by putting it on there it'll give you 3.3 volts so that is now set to 3.3 uh, volts if you can just about see that on there so that is all very good and you can actually set that separately from the other one now this slots in very nicely into this breadboard so what you can do is mount this on on one end 
and you can see that that slots in in very well like that and you can have that on on one end of the the breadboard and with that mounted in there you can see that the power rails run along there these are actually these vert or vertical uh, rows are connected there so those running horizontally along there so to speak are connected but these ones in the breadboard or the component section are linked down there and you can see these different rows are, are marked so you can easily uh, uh, check out what's what. So we'll have a look at that in a, a second and just see how this all works and how we can put it together and uh, probably set up a, a little circuit on it. So you can see here we've uh, set up our very first simple circuit on it. We've got the power supply at one end and just be careful you get uh, uh, the, the right things the right way round because uh, the, uh, you need to have the board the right way round for uh, uh, the power, supply, power rails to be correct. You'll see a little negative, uh, little negative and positive on there and a positive and negative on there. So just make sure that they line up with the, uh, the power rails on there. And all I've done is to link a simple resistor here to an LED and then the, uh, a linking wire and there's a good selection of linking wires that you can use so uh, it's really really flexible and the LED you'll notice um, that if we can get it in focus you can just see that there's a longer lead and a shorter lead the longer lead is the positive end of the LED so we'll make sure that we get that the right way around and just slot that in like that now We'll apply power to the power supply and then what we'll do is press the switch to turn it on and a little LED lights up on the power to uh, power supply to say that, the, uh, that there is power going out and you can also see that our LED lights up there. So our first circuit working on the, uh, uh, this breadboard and it was so easy to, to set up. Uh, really very very simple so I'm really pleased with that and uh, a good selection of components and uh, links and the whole kit is is nicely laid out so that all looks really good so there we have it that's the uh, electronics fun kit with the uh, the breadboard and uh, it's from a company called Eligu and can be obtained from Amazon there's a link in the description area if you want to check it out anymore and uh, there's further details there as well so check that the description area out and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video we'd really appreciate that thank you